good morning namaste and warm welcome my dear students guardians and all the viewers who have been watching us from kalika sgtv facebook lives and youtube too i am prakash subedi your mathematics teacher so i have come to teach you my dear student of standard 9 and i have been teaching geometry in last week in my first class of geometry i started from the first lesson of standard 9 it is triangle so before continue today's lesson uh, let me start from the slide please so slide you can see what we studied last day so we learnt about uh, triangles you can see dear student what is geometry at first a definition a good definition of geometry is necessary to know a geometry is one of the branches of mathematics that studies the properties and relation in logical manner between the point line plane and space shapes so next we started triangle uh, a closed plane figure bounded by the three line segments that is called a triangle and i asked you can you construct a triangle with sides of length 4 cm 2.5 cm and 1 cm but we could not because the sum of length of two sides 2.5 plus 1 3.5 it is less than 4 cm in this case we cannot construct a triangle so we learnt to know that uh, we cannot construct a triangle if sum of any two sides is less than the third side so this property we discussed last day and then we classified the triangle on the basis of sides as scalene triangle having no sides equal isosceles triangle having two sides equal and uh, equilateral triangle having three sides equal on the basis of uh, sides we discussed here are uh, three examples of triangles uh, that um, according to sides we can see three sides are equal in first one it is equilateral triangle in the middle one there it has got two sides equal it is isosceles triangle and the third one is the triangle with no sides equal it is a scalene triangle similarly we classified the triangles on the basis of angles as well uh, acute angle triangle and uh, obtuse angled triangle and right angled triangle that we already discussed last day you can see this Uh, so i have just shown you the slide here and from here i want to begin so dear student please draw the figure at so at shown in the slide please from the slide please draw the figure same like that okay now let's come to the board please may i draw your attention to the board dear student okay so there i have drawn this two line here ab and cd are parallel i already discussed you dear student parallel lines are the lines which cannot meet to each other even after producing them in either direction ab is a line cd is a line if we draw if we produce line ab towards a or towards b or if i produced both the line ab and cd from both way if these both the lines are produced they will never meet to each other it means they are parallel next the distance between two lines ab and cd is equal everywhere so it means these two lines are said to be parallel these two lines are said to be parallel if this perpendicular distance are equal look here if this is pq this is xy we can say pq is parallel to xy 
because this distance between them are equal. Look, distance, distance between two lines, distance between two line d 4, d 3, d 2, d 1. So, this all d 1 equal here d 1 equal d 2 equal d 3 equal d 4 all this distance uh, are equal this is why we can say that we can say that line p q and line x y are parallel to each other and if you produce these two lines in either direction they will never meet. So, such lines are known as parallel line after this now, dear student, today actually we are going to learn about the angles, about the angles uh, which are formed. Look what happens here when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Here you can see transversal means p q. In this case, in this case, in this figure dear student, here uh, remember a b parallel to c d, these two lines are parallel and p q is transversal. It has cut both the line at the point r and s. So, Dear student, we are talking about the relation between the angles which are formed when a transversal cuts two parallel lines. P q is transversal and you can see at the point R and at the point S, transversal P q has cut the parallel lines A B and C D. Then let me start from here. Uh, look, among them 1, 2, 3, 4, this is fourth one dear student, here I wrote, look 1, 2, 3, 4, here angles 1, 2, 3, 4 are inside the parallel lines. I am just uh, going to revise it faster dear student, because we have already learned it in standard 8 also here 1, 2, 3, 4 these are called interior angles because they are inside two parallel lines. Similarly, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8 they are called exterior angle. They are called exterior angles because, because you can see 5, 6, 7, 8. These four angles are out of the parallel lines, outer side, let us say inner side. If I, uh, okay, you can see, now you can take like marker is inside parallel line. If I keep it here, it is outside of parallel line. I am talking about that way. These two lines are parallel. If something lies this side, an angle lies this side, that angle is known as exterior angle. And if two angles lie between these two parallel lines, we can say that they are interior angles. Now, let us sort. So, in this way, there are eight angles formed here. And similarly, you can see uh, angles 8, 2, 3, 6 and 7, 1, 4, 5. So, these four angles are in right side of this transversal 8, 2, 3, 6, 8, 2, 3, 6. These angles are at the right side of transversal and 7, 1, 4, 5, 7, 1, 4, 5. These angles are 
in the left side of transversal. It means a angle 8, 2, 3, 6, they are lying in the same side of transversal 7, 1, 4, 5. These four angles are lying in the same side of transversal. Now, in short, as I said you dear student, you have already learned these all things in standard uh, 8, standard 7 as well. So, I am going to revise this all in the shortcut way. So, I am going to rub it. I hope you have understood. Now, let us define the types of angles. So, let me again show you in the slide please. Look, here these are the angles formed dear student. We learned about this angle like first one is complementary angles, but here um, complementary angles we are not discussing in uh, this case. So, I start from corresponding angles on parallel lines at first. At last we discuss about first theory you can see there uh, complementary angles, supplementary angles, vertically opposite angles that we discuss later on. Now, you can copy uh, this all thing so that you will get this concept you need to remember this all concept about the angles. Supplementary angles and then vertically opposite angles. And now we discuss you can see the fourth one corresponding angles parallel line, corresponding angles you can see there it is clearly written on parallel lines made on parallel lines. We are going to learn about okay, you can see now in the board please. Let me Okay. So, dear student, as I said I am going little faster today because you have already studied. So, let us revise the concept of corresponding angles on parallel lines. What sort of angles are known as corresponding angles and what is the relation between them? We are going to learn it. So, corresponding angle means look here angle angle p r q and angle r s d according to number it is given 8 number r s d is given 3 number these are called corresponding angles similarly next one you can see one example I will expand later, later in short B R Q and B R Q and D S Q, D S Q. B R Q is 2 number, D S Q is, D S Q is 6 number. So, dear student, to define corresponding angle, uh, let me talk about the type. This 8 angle, whether it is exterior or interior, it is an exterior angle, it is outside of two parallel lines, it is not in between these two parallel lines, it is here. So, here means it is outside, it is outside of parallel lines, exterior angle. 3, its corresponding angle is 3, it is inside of parallel line. 8 is right side of transversal P Q, 3 is right side of transversal P Q. Therefore, these corresponding angles are the angles that lie on same sides of transversal, one exterior, one interior. One more thing dear student this definition is not enough like 8, 2, 2 is also interior, it also in the same side, but these two are not corresponding angle. 
two B corresponding angles, three facts you should remember. They are look number one, same side of transversal, number two, one exterior I wrote in short and one interior. Number three, they should be non adjacent. Look, this two and eight are adjacent angle. So, uh, if uh, you are given to find corresponding angle of eight, its corresponding angle is three. It is exterior one, we need interior one, but it should not be adjacent, therefore, its non adjacent is three. This two, this six. So, these are the three property of corresponding angle. So, how do we define corresponding angle? Two angles are said to be corresponding angle on parallel lines if one is exterior, another interior, both lie in the same side of transversal and they are non adjacent. So, how do you make the definition? Two non adjacent angles are said to be corresponding angles if they lie on both same side of transversal and one is exterior and the other is interior. So, this is the information about corresponding angle and uh, one more important thing on corresponding angle is that look here this 2 and this 6 look corresponding angles normally form F here you can see B, here you can see 2, here you can see 6. Just to remember okay, dear student. So, you can remember corresponding angles as angles they form in F. This is perfect F, opposite F or it like 7, yes and similarly uh, this is 180 degree rotation type. Again, you can make like this. This is also a kind of F, upward facing F, upward facing F. So, what sort of angles are known as corresponding angle? To remember, exact F type, opposite F type, upward facing F type, downward facing F type. So, look, dear student these all angle that I have shown, these are the example of corresponding angles. So, corresponding angles are the angles they form in F, where these two lines are parallel. This is to remember you, F angles are corresponding angles, F angles are corresponding angle, exact F, opposite F, upward facing F, downward facing F. These four signal will help you to remember to identify corresponding angle and the fact is that corresponding angles are always equal. Two corresponding angles are always equal. Okay, dear student, I hope you can remember this. You remember, you should remember that two corresponding angles are always equal. I hope you can prove it by yourself. Now, again let us see the slide what comes after corresponding angles. Let us see in the slide please. So, what comes after corresponding angles dear dear? You can see after corresponding angle alternate angle, but before that let me start co interior angle, okay, alternate angle no matter. I have not followed exact order here. Alternate angles. As this is just revision, I do not care about the order. I have started from corresponding, I have now come to alternate angles. Now, let us see in the board, please. Alternate angle by the word alternate, what does alternate means? Alternate means in alternate sides, alternate sides of transversal. This should be in the alternate side of transversal. 
So, and to be alternate angles, the fact are like this. They lie in alternate sides, alternate sides of transversal. Number two, both should be interior. Number three, they should be non adjacent. Okay, this much I think this is enough. Look, now you need to find their student here. I have used you the detective method, is it is because it is just a revision, I am not explaining more, somehow just revising the um, uh, chapter that you have already studied. They lie in <coughs> oh, sorry, alternate sides of transversal, they lie in the alternate side of transversal means, if you take 2, you cannot take 3, if you take 2, you cannot take 8, you cannot take 6, because 2, 3, 6, 8 are in the same side of transversal. We should look for two angles that lie in alternate sides of transversal. One right to transversal, then other should be left to transversal. Next one, both should be interior. Both should be interior means you are not allowed to take 8. Both should be interior. It means you can rob 8. For alternate angle, we do not need 8. For alternate angle, we do not need 7 because to be alternate angles, both angles should be interior. So, look, I have removed, I have removed all exterior angles because alternate angles must be interior. Now, how many interior angles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. And as per the first option, they lie in alternate sides of transversal. Means, if 2 is here, alternate side means which can be alternate uh, to 2, alternate sides to 2, either 1 or 4. Alternate to 3 means, alternate side to 3 means either 4 or 1. Now, look at the third one, the angle should be non-adjacent. Non-adjacent means, if you take 3, you are not allowed to take 4. Angle 2 is non-adjacent to 3 angle 1 is non adjacent to 3, 3 and 1 non adjacent, 3 and 2 non adjacent. So, dear student, let me write one angle name first. I am going first as you have studied this in standard 7 and standard 8 as well dear student. So, it means let me take one angle, I am taking angle A R yes. So, A R S is this angle dear student, angle 1 I have taken, angle 1. Now, which angle will be alternate angle of, alternate angles uh, of angle A R S? Can you find? Following this three fact, obviously you can find. I have written A R S, it means 1. They lie in alternate side, alternate side means what are alternate sides of 1? 4 is in the same side. So, either 2 or 3. Second, both should be interior. Yes, both are interior, all are interior. Now, third one, non adjacent, 1 and 2, adjacent or non adjacent? They have shared this vortex and this side common. So, these two are adjacent angle. So, 2 I should cancel. 1 and 3, 1 and 3 are they adjacent angle? No, they are not. It means, it means angle A R S and angle 3 means, name it please, angle R S D R alternate angle. So, do you understand dear student about alternate angle? So, two angles, two uh, two interior angles are said to be alternate angles if they lie in different sides of transversal. 
and they are non adjacent or next definition two non adjacent interior angles are said to be alternate angles if they are in opposite sides of transversal two interior angle which are non adjacent and lying in two different sides of transversal now how to remember alternate angle like corresponding angles where uh, we have completed corresponding angles are uh, f angles similarly let us see for z ok z uh, let us see for uh, alternate angles as well so look here one example i have taken angle ars rsd ars this angle and rsd this angle look let me make both angle ok here is r here is a here is s and here is d look these two angles we have taken so which shape like corresponding angles made f similarly here alternate angles are making z ok so you remember that the angles which are made in z they are called alternate angles to remember let us see next pair of alternate angle dear student here that is 2 and 4 2 and 4 2 and 4 means like this you can see here is yes here is c here is r and here is b it is 2 written here it is 4 written here remember dear student alternate angles are always equal corresponding angles are equal similarly alternate angles are equal in made on parallel lines alternate angles and corresponding angles made on parallel lines are always equal so look this is also you somehow you can remember as z not perfect z this is the perfect z this is somehow you can remember as z so you remember that the angles made on z are alternate angles and they are always equal so perfect z you can see upward facing z or it is n also z and n you can take look these two angles are equal and this angle also equal so you can see that angles made on z are known as alternate angles and they are equal so again let me see the slide please next after alternate angles what comes there co interior angles in parallel line you can see there so dear student i am going faster today as it is the revision class and if you do not understand please go to youtube channel of kalika sdtv study there and then you can learn it well so please concentrate on the board please now we are talking about co interior angle angle 1 2 3 and 4 are interior these are interior angle out of them where you see 2 and 3 2 and 3 co interior 1 and 4 also co interior i am not going to discuss more about here co interior means two interior angles two interior angles are called co interior angles if they lie on same side of transversal and obviously they are non adjacent simply you can say two non adjacent two non adjacent interior angle lying on the same side of transversal or simply two interior angles if they lie on the same side they becomes co interior angles and the relation between co interior angle is like what are co interior angle angle 2 and 3 2 means name it please b r s plus 3 3 means name it please angle r s d is equal to 
180 degree. And I have already shown you, if the sum of two angles, if the sum of two angles is 180 degree, such angles are called supplementary angles. This angle BRS is supplementary pair of angle RS D. So, next point also I described here. Sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. In other words, the co-interior angles are supplementary because if the sum of two angles is 180 degree, then the angles are said to be supplementary angles. I define here supplementary angles as well. Similarly, next pair you can see dear student 1 and 4. Let me name it angle A R S plus angle R S C is also equal to 180 degree because these are co-interior angles. Co-interior angles. Now, you know to remember how to remember co-interior angles <laughs> like corresponding angles F angles, alternate angles Z angles. Now, co-interior angles are C angle dear student look how nice look this is 2 written here angle 2 this is angle 3 look these two angles are co-interior angle. Some of these two angle is 180 degree therefore, we can say co-interior angles are supplementary angles angles made on C, exact C, just opposite C, reversed C or upward facing C, it is like U, but we can talk about C and downward facing C. These all angles are known as co-interior angles. So, co-interior angles are made on C, C angles, C angles are co-interior angle, F angles are corresponding angles, Z angles are alternate angles. So, uh, let me show you, let me show you the slide once again, the, I think two items are um, left to discuss about the angles type, please let me see the slide please. Look at uh, first one, there is complementary angles supplementary angles we have done and vertically opposite angles. So, dear student I have already told you if you are confused because of my speed today, you can go to YouTube channel of Kalika SDTV and there and there you can uh, learn the you can see today's episode and learn it well. Okay, dear student, let us see in the board please, may I draw your attention to the board please. Look, here angle A H R is 60 degree, P Q M is 30 degree. So, if you add angle A H R and angle P Q M, you get 60 plus 30 that is 90 degree. So, these two angles are known as complementary angles. Similarly, you can see this way also we can represent A, B, C, D. This angle A and this angle B, they are making 90 degree. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is known as angle A and angle B are known as complementary angles. Two angles are said to be complementary angles if their sum is 90 degree. Now, vertically opposite angles, when two straight lines are cut, are intersected at a point, then these two angles are known as vertically opposite angles. When two straight lines are intersected at a point, then the angles formed just uh, uh, opposite side of the vertex sharing the vertex only sharing the intersecting point only they are known as vertically opposite angles and these two angles are always equal. If this is 91 degree, this should be 91 degree. So, vertically opposite angles are always equal. So, here is A, here I wrote A and here I wrote B. What is the relation between A and B? They should be equal. 
because they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are always equal. Now, finally, what we learned, dear student, complementary angles, two angles having the sum 90 degree, then supplementary angles, two angles having the sum 180 degree, vertically opposite angles, they are always equal, corresponding angles, they are always equal, alternate angles, they are always equal, co interior angles, their sum is 180 degree or co interior angles are supplementary angles. Thank you so much for being with me. I revised faster because we need to learn a lot in standard 9. Tomorrow I will come with some axioms that are used in geometry. Till then, goodbye, namaste, have a nice day.